Hello all and welcome to this another session on the series that we started on SAP Central Finance. In our last session, we understood what exactly is Central Finance and how it works. In today's session, we will understand what are the different replication scenarios which are supported in Central Finance. So in the last session, what we understood is the SAP Central Finance landscape, which consists of three different uh, systems. You have the source system, you have the target system, which is SAP Central Finance, and then you have the SAP SLT server, which is taking care of the replicating the data, financial data from the source system to the target system. So if you have not watched that video, I recommend you to go through that video first and then come to this video. It will make more sense. What we are going to discuss today is what is going to be replicated? What are the scenarios which are supported in central finance uh, for the replication? So what data, what you are going to post in the source system is going to be replicated and what data, again, financial data cannot be replicated from the source to the target. So let's get started. So these are the different replication scenarios supported in central finance. First one obviously is FICO, reconcil uh, FICO replication, which means whatever FI postings that we are going to make within the source system, those are going to be replicated to the central finance system. So normally if I talk about SAP system, if SAP system is my source system, what happens is whenever you are doing the financial posting, if there is a cost element involved, it will also make the posting in CO. So those postings which are affecting the FI as well as CO that will be replicated and uh, you'll be able to see those things replicated in SAP central finance system. Second is CO replications. So in addition to FI CO postings, there are some postings that we make directly in CO, right? Using the secondary cost elements for allocations and other uh, activities that we do directly in CO those postings are also replicated in SAP Central Finance. Next one is cost object replication. Cost object replication, you all know what is cost object. Cost objects are nothing but uh, the master data that we create in the controlling module. For example, the cost centers, we create the uh, other, depending upon which modules you are using in SAP, there are different cost elements, sorry, there, there are different cost objects. So those cost objects, again, we can control whether they can they would be replicated or not from the configuration point of view. So we in the configuration, we specify whether we want to perform the cost object mapping one, one to one or many to one. But from the system point of view, system is capable of replicating the cost objects also in central finance. Next one is commitment replications. What do you mean by commitments? Commitments like, you know, uh, from the budgeting point of view from if you are using uh, let's say in MM we create the PR or PO and it uh, utilizes the commitment of the budget so at the time of PR creation at the time of PO creation if there is any budget which is committed that information is also replicated to central finance if you are using the old concept of profit center accounting classic profit center accounting in your uh, source system that data is also replicated apart from this obviously if you are using the cost uh, standard cost estimates in your current system if you are using uh, the product costing component in your current system so whatever cost estimates you have created for the materials uh, SAP has the capability to replicate the material cost estimates also into central finance then activity rates, we normally maintain the activity rates in KP26 and other transactions where we tell the system that particular cost center can provide us which activities at what rates. Those things also can be replicated in CFIN. Activity type master data also can be uh, replicated to CFIN. Even the projects master data, if you are using project system module, if you are using if you are creating different projects, different WBS elements, those data also can be replicated in CFIN. Uh, next one is replication of defined subset of logistics data. So there is some logistics data also which has relevance to accounting. So accounting view of logistics area, there is some data related to sales, some data related to purchase, which is related to accounting. That data also can be transferred to CFIN. 
Apart from that, if you are using joint venture accounting component, even joint venture accounting data can also be replicated to central finance. Let's go to the next slide. Now, apart from the transactions that we discussed in the last slide, there are some other features which are provided by central finance. So not only in terms of creation of document. Okay, so if I take an example, I already told you the FI, CEO documents, what you create in central finance can be replicated. But even if you change the original document in the source system, that also is replicated to central finance. So it is not like that only once when you create the document that gets replicated. Even if you change that original document in the source system, that will also, the change will also get replica replicated into the central finance system. Then a replication of change in accounts receivables and payables. This is again similar to the first point where whenever you do any change to the financial document, so AP and AR is also the financial document. So if there is any payment information, if there is any transfer uh, information that you need to send from source to target, that also can be done using CFIN. Apart from that, if you are making any changes to the cost objects, okay, depending upon the scenario definition, depending upon scenario definition means, as I told you, when you replicate the cost objects, there are different configurations, how you want to bring the data uh, to CFIN. So based on what scenarios you have activated, you can replicate the changes to the cost objects also in CFIN. Also replication of change in the commitments. In the last slide, we understood that commitments means whenever you are creating a PR or PO, it is consuming the budget and it is keeping that in the commitment part. So even if there is any change, let's say the PR is deleted or maybe the GR is done or IR is done and the commitment needs to be updated, that information also will be transferred to CFIN. And lastly, the new uh, thing is uh, even the RAR, if you are using SAP RAR component for recognizing your revenues, uh, even the RAR related postings can also be replicated to CFIN. So we understood now what are the different uh, type of scenarios which are replicated in CFIN. Now let's try to understand what is not replicated, what is excluded from the transfer to CFIN. Number one, very important is CEO FI postings and clearings. See what happens is uh, there are three type of postings that we do in FI CEO. Number one is the posting which is triggered from FI and goes to CEO that is called as FI CEO posting, which is already we discussed that it is already replicated. Then there is CEO posting. CEO posting means the posting which is only uh, entered into the CEO component, only in the CEO module that is also replicated. But the third one, which is CO to FI, which means the posting which is triggered from FI, uh, CO, but it generates the accounting document, those kind of postings are extend, uh, excluded from the transfer. Why so? Because if you are already transferring the CO entry, the FI entry can be created automatically in the target system. So we don't need to replicate the FI posting also from the source. Number two, Year-end closing postings. So there are a lot of postings related to year-end closing. Uh, from the technical side, you can see we need to identify uh, what are the postings which are related to uh, this particular scenario. Those postings are also not transferred to CFIN. Recurring entries, you know, uh, for the month-end uh, processing, in order to simplify the month-end processing, there are a lot of recurring entries that we create, which we want to post at the month-end. So if even the recurring entries, whatever you create, those are not replicated to CFIN. So if you want any recurring entries to be posted in CFIN, you have to create them separately. Similarly, sample documents, if you want to create some sample documents in CFIN, you have to do it directly, but you will not be able to replicate from the source system. Noted items, only there are two types of noted items which are transferred which is nothing but down payment request and payment request, right? Apart from that, if you are using any other uh, noted items, those noted items are not replicated to CFIN. Similarly, PARC documents, if you create any PARC document in your source system, it will not replicate it to CFIN because only the posted documents are posted to or replicated to CFIN. Balance carry forward needs to be done separately in both the systems. It is one of the period end activity. So, 
balance carry forward entries whenever you perform the balance carry forward in the source it will not automatically get replicated to target in target you have to do the balance carry forward separately apart from this all the other closing operations which you perform at the uh, fiscal year end okay those as i told you here also year end closing activities are not transferred and lastly costing based copa so as of today also whatever you do in costing based copa in the source system those entries will not be uh, replicated into cfin so now i hope you understood what exactly central finance in my last session and in this session you understood what kind of replications are possible in central finance and what kind of replications are not possible in central finance